Today we will discuss fin attack or uh, horizontal strike, patag, uh, flat form, horizontal. So we have a uh, palm up position and palm down position fin attack, horizontal strike. So in palm up position, the first strike goes to the face, and the second strike backhand position palm down, backhand strike. It goes to the knees. So again, one, two. So face, knees. So as you see, I'm uh, bending a little bit my uh, knees. So you don't have to do this, but just bend a little bit and hit the knee and keep looking straight to the uh, eye of your opponent. So palm up, palm down. And I'm, I'm not doing this all the way around here and come back but just make a uh, uh, letter C or a uh, semi-circle so palm up, palm down forehand strike, backhand strike so the forehand strike is, uh, comes from my right side it goes to the left side and a backhand strike from, from my left side goes back to the right side so that is the uh, forehand strike to the face backhand strike to the knees so one, two so that is a uh, Pinatag. So, pinatag, pinatag pangatubang or uh, forehand strike uh, horizontal, pinatag pamalik, that is a uh, backhand strike uh, horizontal. So, pamalik is a backhand strike, pangatubang is a forehand strike, pangatubang pamalik, and the uh, strikes, uh, uh, striking technique is uh, horizontal. Patag, pinatag. So one and two. Uh, footwork, just keep uh, right foot forward. At the moment, just uh, make it a uh, right foot forward. So if you step forward, apply pinatag. Step backward, apply pinatag. So horizontal to the face or the temple. Horizontal strike. Very effective in uh, close range combat. 
the horizontal strike this way it goes uh, straight to the temple so this is the pin attack and the lower uh, strike lower strike to the knees also very effective uh, I like uh, hitting the knees rather than the waistline because if you're gonna strike on the knees the left hand of the opponent could not reach it out or could not defend or block or catch with the stick so if you attack to the head his left hand will normally uh, bring it up to, the, the, to protect and defend his head then that's the chance you deliver the strike to the knees when the left hand goes troubles low down to protect and catch the stick it cannot reach because uh, it's so low so very effective i like this uh, uh strike uh, striking to the face or to the temple the horizontal is really effective in close range so parry parry the left hand parry down control the right hand first parry the left hand and bring the strike in like that but don't worry about the footwork footwork could be just only left foot forward uh, forward and backward forward and backward mm, not changing uh, footwork, footwork rate but if you manage to uh, study the previous videos then you can start to move you can switch uh, positions legs place your uh, feet in a different angles so you can uh, try those but if you just watch and begin to study the uh, movements of the stick, you're a beginner and you don't need, uh, you're not able to follow the first video I posted, then just make your stances in a right foot forward or in a left foot forward. Just keep it there. It doesn't matter. Just in the beginning like that. Not, not too much with the crossing legs or like this cross legs cut stance not not too much with that just like a boxing stance just normal for a judo stance keep the legs are parallel with the correct balance and posture because in the boxing stance it's easy to move in and to move out and it's a free movement So that is pin attack. Horizontal strike to the face and to the knees, backhand strike. And also you can reverse it. Strike low and backhand strike to the uh, head or to the temple, to the face. Forehand strike low and backhand strike to the head. Forehand strike low and backhand strike to the head. So you have forehand strike to the head, backhand strike to the knee, and you have also forehand strike to the knee, and backhand strike to the head, or the temple, or to the face. Forward, reverse. So this is counterclockwise, clockwise. So counterclockwise, clockwise. So you can also do that. So you can make only counterclockwise first, then counterclockwise next. And not bringing the stick to your back. Not like this. Just here. That's why you need hips movement. Hips rotation. Because you are not uh, pulling much back the stick to give a power pull strike but it's only your uh, waist movement so if I go <coughs> so the waist movement is very important so pin attack forehand strike to the face backhand strike to the knee another way forehand strike to the knees backhand strike to the face <coughs> 